right, just got a quick pump in, hit 50 push-ups for some positive mental attitude. Get that pump rolling. Should be a point to where we're strong enough to, you know, lift the heavy weights in the gym and hit 50 push-ups without it being a big problem or tear or shock on our muscles. Just to keep that pump, keep the body fat off, and um, get the positive results out of it. That is the positive mental attitude. So a bit behind on my videos. Um, you know, sometimes when I'm going through stuff at home with my family, I'll get to a point where I, sh I shouldn't be hopping on camera right away and talking about my feelings and end up, you know, complaining about uh, my wife and, see and her seeing anything in the future that's just going to cause more problems at home. So I just try to wait until I can be more positive about the perspective I have over everything. And, um, and, and the goal, and the goal to, to hit, um, the goal to hit is to not miss even even while I'm having any other difficulties in my life so trying to keep up with that number one got to keep the family peace that peace at home together and then all the while um, you know not let anything else run me into the ground and be and look like the dad that I want to be and look like um, I want to be smart I want to find you know have good resources for my own education that I can teach my kids I've got four daughters and uh, and so it's part of the reason why I collect a lot of these books. You know, I want to know what's going on in the world, but I want to know how to be a leader. Since now I am in a natural position to be a leader in a family. And I want to be a leader to as many people um, that I can be through mindset training, fitness, nutrition, tracking macronutrients, and just getting yourself stronger, learning how to, to see food for what it is as far as fuel rather than um, something to seek comfort from or just follow um, you know, culturally or subculturally, you know, um, out there with the crowd because there's no structure to that and won't get any uh, results as far as strength by following the crowd that way. So I'm going to start off as a father. I've gotten really into um, the Jocko Willink series books, Way of the Warrior Kid. Bought and read the first, second, third. Um, starts off with young Mark as a student. I think he is going into seventh grade in the first book. And uh, he's got an Uncle Jake, Navy SEAL, comes into town for the summertime and goes over um, with young Mark, you know, some of his insecurities with school, things he's lacking confidence in, and thinks he's just lacking performance in as far as becoming a young man. And so Jake teaches him structure, discipline, and uh, strength and, and self-esteem, you know, self-confidence, leadership. Um, even gets him into jiu-jitsu at a local gym that's out here, Victory MMA, and follows along through the series of school, 8th grade, um, and I think getting into high school by where there's a will. So it follows a jiu-jitsu journey, and there is some kind of antagonist in every book, but as Jocko teaches us in the book, the overall strategy of the best warriors, you know, is if you, if, or, or in the alchemy, you know, if you can take someone who's kind of an enemy, or, or seems to be an enemy um, in your life in a place that's not really that threatening, um, you know, just directly among uh, a couple of peers is to make them, you know, understand them, listen to them, and maybe make them into a friend. So that's what happens in these books as uh, Mark goes through his journey. And I've also got up to Way of the Warrior, Way of the Warrior Kid 4, which turns into a field manual um, that Mark writes himself for himself now that he's programmed for a couple of years and he's learned he's become a good leader a strong person now he's able to write his own um, field manual for for discipline himself and um, provide it to one of his friends I think that he's splitting kind of splitting paths with after school one of his neighbors um, and I have where well, the word kid five here I've not read it yet so I'll be getting into reading that one soon they don't take too long you know for parents it's just you know kind of larger print and doesn't cover too much area in the book, so really it's just a couple of days worth of reading will get you through these great lessons in here for adults and kids. Um, that being said, I found Jocko through um, the Joe Rogan podcast, actually probably back in 2017, 2018. But as I started following him, man, I saw you know he's somebody that seemed to have everything together, obviously, and um, is just a good to go type of person. And you know with the success and leadership in the military, he's put together some of those principles. 
um, in his books, his first book here, Extreme Ownership, with one of his guys, Leif Babin. Uh, immediately the first time I read this book, especially seeing the man on social media, um, started putting real principles of leadership in me. And it's my first time directly training with leadership. So if you follow this content and follow these books with Jocko, it's a great big uh, leadership program. Um, great big class that you can learn from and get really uh, well versed in the education of leadership by these guys. And so um, Extreme Ownership goes over the four laws of combat, um, cover and move, which is, you know, working with your team so somebody can handle, uh, you know, one task while you progress forward in something else, you know, maybe maybe business partners and, you know, they get these lessons from the battlefield and then bring it to the business, um, the business world and even in life as far as, as leadership among the family. So cover and move, simple, keep things very simple, prioritize and execute once you simplify everything by observing, you know, orienting yourself, making a decision and then acting um, down a list of prioritiz prioritization, figure out what's most important to handle first and go down the line. And um, being a leader up and down the chain of command is you don't have to be the captain of the team to show to show qualities of leadership and to follow the path and the principles of leadership is what these books teach. And finally, uh, decentralized command is a fourth law of combat in this book and you know, teaches as far as these guys getting into the business world with their company Echelon Front to you know not micromanage your team and that can get right down into the family too. So these are the principles I've learned from. I've applied them in my life for a few years now. Jocko stuff since at least 2018, 2019. Got into his other books, Dichotomy of Leadership. Like I was just saying, you don't have to be at the top of the food chain to show uh, qualities of leadership. You know, you could be a subordinate and be a phenomenal leader on your team with the best interest of the team's mission at mind. And so, uh, another dichotomy of leadership explained in this book is when you are at the top of the food chain, not needing to micromanage everybody, you're sure might think at first glance, you know, at the word leadership that you're going to be at the top of the food chain. You're writing all the plans. You're making sure everybody's executing everything and following everything every step of the way. The dichotomy of that is, is being a good leader is getting your team to act on their own, among their, um, along their own plans and their own terms so they feel the confidence to execute these things themselves without, uh, the, you know, the, the top of the food chain leadership there to watch every step of the way because... Um, you know, the true leader is looking up and out and ahead and around down the road rather than down in the weeds of the current, um, you know, mission at hand. So as well as, you know, you, you, the bottom of the food chain is out there, as they say, the military picking up the brass, you know, at the shooting range. Um, as the head leader, the captain, whoever you are, it's good for you to get down there on their level relate to them and show humili humility with them and in that sense humility would be the greatest quality of leadership as we learned from Jocko. Love these books. I did go through them. I got them all, read them all. Leadership strategy and tactics. Tactics. It really just continues following on with the same um, principles in the first two books and then these ones I, I apply again right down into my daily life with family. Learning about strategy and an overall commander's content. What is the big why of everything that we're doing what we're doing? get into a small argument with you know my wife at home or anybody else for that matter it could be a sense of like some road rage stuff on the street I could decide before acting on emotions um, or any kind of violence or anything is, is to think like you know if, if I did this move right now would I be winning overall and um, I, it's good to be able to, to, to detach from yourself observe what's going on and make a better decision that way as a leader and not head down any stupid paths, you know, of course, you know, keeping yourself out of, out of jail and then keeping yourself out of, you know, what could turn into long-term issues inside the family just by not reacting to something immediately at that moment, exactly how your emotions are telling you to act. So good principles carrying on. So what got into the code, the evaluation, the protocols, how to become an eminently qualified human. Again, still just going over the qualities of leadership. Really easy to read book, large print, and this one. Um, it's really just like advancing in the class and then going over all the same important stuff through every book. Got the expanded and, and the original edition of Discipline Equals Freedom. 
Um, I, I like at the end of this book, it's got a lot of sick workouts that aren't your typical, um, you know, gym fitness, personal trainer workouts, you know, that I, that I kind of grew up with, or even bodybuilding workouts. You know, Jocko isn't teaching you exactly just how to bodybuild. He's teaching you how to be an overall well-rounded machine who's fit, healthy, um, not at risk of disease, and also not at risk of any mental health, you know, issues because of daily discipline starting the day off with wins which you can find goes into all areas of some of the best leaders leaders in the world. Um, so who, who I definitely follow. Love all those books. So for your kids, for yourself, I'd say get them all. Read them all. Even though they cover a lot of the same principles, they're not redundant in any negative way whatsoever. So, and then, you know, following Jocko, I try to get in into into his mind about what he learned, what he learned, what, who, you know, who are his mentors and... You can get into his other books. I've also read Final Spin. It's a great novel. Fiction. Creativity. Really well written. Um, good book to kind of, you know, maybe at the end of the day type of book. Read a story to let your mind go somewhere else. And also pick up some good lessons along the way about life. And so Jocko's, uh, you know, favorite author and favorite book. It had the most impact on his life altogether. was About Face by Colonel um, David Hackworth. About, I think was in um, you know leadership and as far as taking over a group of men in war overseas I think in Vietnam um, and so I have not picked up this book yet I know it's a large one but a lot of the principles Jocko learned from uh, used that affected his life and kept him and his guys alive um, overseas in his military experience as well as who he is today and how he's running his life with leadership and teaching those lessons through his his books, a lot of it comes from right here, so I'm very interested to read that, and I will follow up with review on what I learned from this book, or maybe as I go through it. Um, sometimes I like how I just think about books, and they end up showing up on the shelves at Goodwill, which is a place I recommend going if you want to get into reading. I go there often, and I, um, you know, thankfully I've just been in a lot of time getting familiar with books and authors, can point out the good ones. Um, and snag them while I'm there. So we're all doing time by Bo Lozoff. I heard about this book from Wes Watson and his YouTube videos and his speaking of experience, you know, spending 10 years in prison and some of the books that had a big effect on him. Um, and I'll be getting into that one. I did read and finish this one this year, 177 Mental Toughness, uh, Secrets of the World Class. Number by number, you know, 72, 79, all the way to 177. Incredible daily lessons you can learn. Read one day, one at a time. Read several several at a time is something good to read barely early in the morning. Give you a good principle to work with and stay positive throughout the day. And just have endless, one endless um, secrets in this book. Enough to get you well throughout uh, the year, especially just going back through them again once you get to the end. I've, I've been going through this book over and over again um, long after I've completed reading it for the first time. So other interesting books when I was talking about last week is uh, you know why why gather up any more information outside of making money or outside of um, you know education on business is what's going on in the world what are the things I want to learn about that are possible you know, free energy um, and I talk about where did the towers go. I'm going to be going through that book specifically in much more depth and detail on hopefully extra weekly videos with book reviews. Um, learning about what's going on there, what what is you know what was coined as cold fusion that should not have been called cold fusion um, is low energy nuclear reaction fire from ice. This is how to get um, nuclear fusion without high heat. Okay, so if you understand that, you understand. If not, we'll be going through this book. This is something I'm reading currently. Just bust it out. Um, learning about, you know, the Jesuit organizations around the world. You can pick up a little bit of that information in The Wandering Jew. About a quarter of the way through this book. I'll be out in just a few. Um, enjoying reading it throughout the middle of the day as much as I can. Learning, the, you know, the true stories about DNA, who we are and where we come from, what the Epic of Gilgamesh talks about, one of the oldest books in the world where we get kind of copies coming from and the stories of Noah and the Bible and many other uh, mysteries and religions over time. Uh, 
this goes over the you know a true path of DNA rather than the out of Africa theories that they kind of try to push in school. Um, and so yeah, just getting into you know Colonel Hackworth from Jocko Willink is getting into some of these books and getting into the, into the minds of the authors leads you to the next author to the next book to the next author. So you know following Jocko again, I picked up strategy and this this really gets into every having an you know overall bird's eye view of the world altogether. What is strategy? This is um, military warfare, warfare strategy used over millennia that it's, it is covered in this book and just gives you know answers that we can transmit into daily life that don't really have to do with war or violence or anything like that, but just the mindset of the, the, the fastest way from point A to point B is not always a straight line. In fact, it's almost never just a straight line. You know, the long way around might be the real fastest way to get there, and that's one of the main principles of this book, main principles of leadership that Jocko's covers over and over again in his books. And so, yeah, that's how I travel from book to book. I am still in, I pick up a lot of books. Sometimes I'll, I'll, get, I'll finally get into one or I just power through the rest of it. We're still inside a flow here, the optimal experience. Um, we get into flow state. What is happiness? You know, what helps us connect with ourselves rather than being, you know, uh, too hungry or depressed to really express ourselves and live to our true full potential every day. We're still going through Will and Ariel Durant story of civilization we're in the oriental heritage right now in the beginning maybe about halfway through that book definitely going to be going over that history excited to be finishing all of that whole entire series we've given incredible foundation to history and understanding of the world literature where we get the history that we've been shown in these books and so and then lastly i'll just hit this one about a quarter of the way through the arabian nights timeless tales incredible lessons in them that people have been reading and listening to stories from for thousands of years. So many things to go through. Um, anybody's interested in any of these, leave me, you know, some questions or um, any book recommendations. I definitely love to in the comments. And catch you guys next week on book reviews. Go over where did the towers go some more, and especially that Fire from Ice by uh, Eugene Meloff is the number one book I'm interested in right now. Can't wait to talk about it more. And we'll see you guys at 2.45, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Look for the rest of my videos.